Welcome to the new video of AG Framework today. We are going to install MXC Scripts Present MXC Vending Machine. First of all, you need to visit their official TBEX website. I'll provide you the link in description after reaching to their website. You can see multiple categories are there. You need to click on the product section, then you need to click on the script section, an encrypted one here. You can find the utility vending. Just click on it. Here you can see the all preview of the vending machines they are having multiple prop models. You can also add your custom prop models, also same as if you are using any type of custom thing. You can add the custom vending machine without any issues. After that, it supports multiple scripts like QB target, aux target. Also, when you are using the text UI, you can directly use the text UI without any issue. You can also customize every needs that you want. Also, you can already get the item for QB Core ESX and QB Ox inventory without any issues. Now just click on Add to Cart. Make sure to add your CFX ID. After adding to the cart, click on Checkout. MXC Scripts provide us some special coupon code. If you apply their coupon code, you will get extra discount. After applying their coupon code, you will get your script in your key master. Here you can see I already got this. Now click on download and save it to your computer. Then click on extract here. Also, if you don't see our previous video, make sure to see them. Then copy the file and paste it to your main server directory. Here you can see I pasted it. Now open the file. You can see the multiple configurations and multiple files are there. But first of all, we need to open the item section. Open the item folder here you can find the multiple options and files. First of all, you need to open the aux inventory at Lua for the item. Because we are using the aux inventory after opening this item, you need to copy the items and paste it to your OX inventory. As I am using the OX one, I have to go to the OX inventory, data then item dot Lua. It's already configured with progress bar and animation, so you don't need to worry about that. Also, you can customize it as you want. Also, set the status based on your configuration. After that, close the item Lua and open your file again. You can also find another options like QB Small Resources and QB Core. If you want to use the QB Core item LUA, you can use them and it's already per configured with QB Small Resources. After that, open the Images section. You can also get the cigarette images, snacks images, and soda images. We need to copy them all and paste it to your aux inventory web section. Then images paste it, same goes to the next. Also as also the sodas, after that, close the aux inventory file. Now open the configuration.lua, here you can find the all type of configuration. First of all is the debug. As if you are using your script for testing purposes or finding any type of issues or error, you can enable the debug system. Another else I'll suggest you to disable it after that. You can get the render distance. You can set the render distance player between the props. So it's defaulted with 30. You can directly set it based on your configuration. Same goes to the target interaction distance. If you are using text UI, you can directly render the distance. Same goes to the target UI. After that, you can find the language.lua. It supports multiple languages. You can also add the languages from here. You can follow the link and you can add the multiple languages as per your need. It is defaulted configure with the English. Now here is a no framework section. You can directly work this script with a standalone version. Also, you can enable it if you are using a specific framework as I am using it. QB core, I'll just make it true. Same, go to the OS lib menu. I am using the aux lib menu. So I am using X, same go to the blips and sounds. You can enable the blips of the vending machines based on your server. You can also disable it. Same goes to the target system. If you're using aux or QB target, you can directly enable it. Or if you're using any custom target, you can provide the resource name here. It will automatically detect the resource. Then go to the keyboard module. If you are using different keyboard module like QWERTY, you can directly enable it. Same go to the translation.lua. You can directly add your translation based on the text UI. After that, you can get the items that were sold via vending machine. You can directly configure the item section. Same goes to the water chips and another utilities that you are getting. Also at after the utility section, you can find the place placed vending machine props. You can directly customize the prop or 
add your own props without any issue, then you can find the snack section. Same goes to other ones based on the ox lib and another menu, you can directly customize everything without any issues. So after that, you don't need to change anything in the configuration. It's already per config and set it as a default one. So that's it. Now close this after that, open the configuration.function.lua. You can find the all add item has items, commands and triggers. You can directly make your own trigger if it's not working. So after that, close this. Now that's it. You can find the audio directory also for the interaction sounds. You don't need to change anything about that until if you know what you're doing. Now you can find the languages on that site so you can directly post it on their documentation without any issue. Now close the file, copy it and paste it to your main server directory. And now let's see how the MXC vending machine works in game. Hey guys, here you can see I am in game and the MXC vending machines are working properly without any issue. So I just placed some few props and PD to show you every feature that the script have. Also, you can add your additional vending machines based on your server without any issue. So first of all, I'll show you the cigarette machine. So it's the cigarette machine. I'll just click on it, buy the product. You can select multiple products that we already listed. So this script provides us two functions. First is the standalone and second is the non-standalone. If you are using non-standalone, you can use the item-based product. If you are using a standalone version, you cannot use the item version. So make sure to set this properly, then click on confirm. Here you can see proper animations are there. Here you can see I get the cigarette in my packet. Also, I can use that. Of course, I don't have the stress at that moment to show you the stress working principle. Also, it is based on your server configuration. After that, you can see a cola machine. We are having two variants of this cola machine. First is this variant. Second, also, we are having the V2, so I'll just click the A21. Here you can see proper animation schemes of here you can see. Proper animations are there without any issue or lag. Also, the item added inventory successfully without any issues. Also, you can see the props are working properly. Now I'll show you the coffee machine for that. We need to click on the buy coffee here. You can see the cup popped up and started filling the cup. Now I can easily take the drink. Now I will show you the soda vending machines are working properly without any issue. I'll show you also. Here you can see the animations are there. Also the sound interactions are pretty good without any issues. So here you can see we are having a proper snacks and chips machine. We can choose the product. I'll just buy this chip. Here you can see the item is dropped properly. We can show you another one. Just select this prime A one. Here you can see item added properly without any issue. Now I'll show you the water dispenser. So here is the water dispenser. You can directly buy it from $0. You can also configure it from the config. It started pouring the water on the glass. I can see I got the glass and I started drinking the water. So this script is working properly without any issue. Make sure to avail the discount and purchase this script. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.